19th, 2012. Coming to you from Tampa, Florida. Another beautiful, beautiful day. There's no chemtrails in the sky, by the way. It's perfectly clear. It has been for the last week to 10 days. It's been absolutely beautiful. There's been no humidity in the air, which is rare. Um, and I've had the windows open at night. It's been wonderful. But um, anyway, I just wanted to, to do a video here to give um, Danny Walton and Dee Smith props for their radio interview on Friday. Um, what an excellent job, both of you. Uh, you work so well together, and the information that you offered, um, well, let's just say if, if people didn't learn something, then they weren't listening. Um, and the banter, the back and forth, and the, the joking and all, it's, that's really cute, and it, and it goes a long way. Um, what a well, well uh, performed interview. Um, with lots of information, valuable information. Um, the only, the only give that I have on it is the, the attack on the New Agers. Um, and I understand, I understand where D, where you're coming from, and Danny. You know, this idea that New Agers are out of touch with reality. Um, I, I think that's short-sighted. I believe that, um, I, and I know, for example, several of my friends who are very into the New Age, and they're really on top of what's going on. In fact, they're better informed than most, um, but they choose not to resonate at the the fuck them all frequency. So, um, and they don't get caught up or lost in the importance of, of everything that's wrong. They they recognize what's going on, they recognize what's out there, but they choose not to resonate at that that level. So, um, I think it's short sighted. Um, but I understand. I mean, there are also those that I know that are very spiritual, new age spiritual. The and the airy fairy kinds that pass out the daisies, and they seem a bit out there. And <laughs> but I, you know, I give them props as well because um, the collective consciousness is affected by each one of our vibrations, uh, what we put out, what we manifest within energy, in our thoughts and our actions, um, actually has an impact on the whole. Uh, so you need a balance in the collective consciousness. Um, as I think most people are aware. A majority of people are lost in fear and misery. Um, I, that's what my experience has been in my lifetime. Uh, most people talk about stuff that are that are troubling, things that trouble them, and and issues that concern them, or that they're just plain fucking pissed off about. And then that resonates, and that goes out in the collective um, conscious and, and consciousness and into the universe. And I don't imagine there's a lot of good that comes out of it. So. It's a good thing to clear your chest and uh, to express yourself openly. And, and the idea that you can't curse is foolishness. But, um, you know, I say we're all on a different journey. We're, we're all at a different point in that path on the journey. And I, I say, you know, laissez-faire. Well, leave well enough alone. Uh, I don't insist that anyone think like I do or to act like I do or to believe what I believe. Um, there is no right or wrong, there just is. And I've said that in the past, and, and I kind of, I stick to that. Uh, you know, I tend to agree with Danny about 95% of the time, and Dee, I love you girl, <laughs> I about 98% of the time. But this is one that doesn't resonate with me, and along with the, um, the negativity towards the Galactic Federation of Light, I, I, that doesn't resonate with me either. Uh, I don't know the answer. I know that no one knows the answer except those that are directly involved with them. And for all we know, it could be one big PSYOPs program. So nobody knows, unless you've met with them personally. I don't know any of the channelers. I don't know their histories, their backgrounds. I have no idea who they are. I don't know who they work for or what they've done, you know, all their life. So, um, but I tend to believe that, that these are decent people. Um, maybe it's wishful thinking, but that's what I, I tend to believe. And that they're offering um, their best to bring mankind up a notch. Um, to allow us to evolve. Um, I do believe in the power of the sun, the soul. You know, the sun is known as soul, and there's a reason why it's called soul, I believe. And I think the, the energy of the sun, of the soul, will be uplifted with the increase in the, the energy frequencies and, and the elements that are bombarding the earth and have been for quite some time. Um, Bill Donahue mentioning Bill Donahue and, and the positive feedback that you give on him is a, is a real plus to me. Uh, I've learned so much from Bill over the years. Um, and more specifically, I've paid attention to him in the last three months or so, and, and I've found myself watching dozens of his videos. And Mr. Donahue, you are incredible, and there's a reason 
for you doing what you're doing. And I believe it's to enlighten the masses. Um, in my perfect world, should I be king, I would have you and Danny and Dee sit together and put on a symposium of the knowledge that you have, you know, kind of click with each other and offer, you know, what you believe and what Dee believes and what Danny believes and your perceptions of life and reality as you see it and kind of come to a, to some kind of agreement there. I, I, I see so much similarity in what you what you preach and, and what you believe. So and I think it's positive. But, uh, you know, I know it's helped me. I know all three of you have been a blessing to me. So anyway, um, get along with it again. But I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you to you, Dee, and to you, Danny, and and to, to Mr. Donahue. Uh, thank you as well. Uh, thank you all for, for enlightening us and for, you know, bucking the, the system and for having the guts and the balls to stand up and say, I don't care if everybody's tied to religion. I'm going to express myself, and it's it's not of a religious bent. Um, and, and I'm just here to inform you what I know. So And I really appreciate that. It takes courage. And all three of you have courage, and and I'm I'm grateful. I'm grateful to Prime Creator, to Source, to God, that I uh, that I'm a part of, of what you offer. I, I'm I'm grateful for it. So, anyway, I love you all. And um, before I get too long winded, I just wanted to say thank you, and I'll I'll be back. Um, anyway, this is Eagle Ten Twenty Three signing out. Namaste.